There's so much peace and zen in this place. Like literally amazing. This is uh, Sheila and this is Lucky. We are going to Humpy. Yes. Actual Humpy. Yes. <laughs> so to enter inside, you would need a ticket and the stone chariot. See me catching the note and the stone chariot. Here is the prayer station. The deity is kept. So after coming out from Virupaksha temple, now we are at Ugra Narasimha. So the Gufa looks something like this from the outside and this was used by as a defense mechanism by the royal guards. We are done with our uh, temple hopping and now we are... Hey everyone! It's day two of our trip today and today we'll be exploring the whole of Hampi. So we have booked a cab and the cab driver will be coming here anytime soon. So let me show you the morning view. We are almost ready. It's nine o'clock and night we had a party. So, you know, I couldn't shoot anything much. So this is day two and stay tuned. This is how humpy morning looks. There's so much peace and zen in this place, like literally amazing. These are the other huts. Wow. Here we met two amazing friends who are now sleeping. Sheila? Oh, Sheila. Sheila, darling. <laughs> Sheila. 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 Sleeping. So we are leaving from here and we are going to? We are going to Humpy. Yes. Actual Humpy. Yes. So we've kept the luggage and now we are heading towards uh, sightseeing Hampi. So there are a lot of temples and historical places that we'll be visiting today. So stay tuned. So we have been sitting in the car here. We have been sitting in the car here. And here we have a driver. He was very good. He talked to us very well. And we had a lot of fun with him. 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 So our 30 minutes journey came to an end and now we have reached Bitala temple where we will be also spotting the famous stone chariot and come I will show you. So there is a queue here and uh, we have to take tickets to go inside. What is the ticket? One way 10 rupees and two way 20 rupees. Same 20 rupees. So definitely we will have to give 20 rupees because we have to go and come. You will also spot some vendors selling magnets and some selling watermelons and cucumbers and um, yes this is all in all a very cool place. So here we are teaching Vidisha how to vlog. <laughs> Take one. Hey guys, now we are going to Virupaksha Temple. Come, let's come with me. Go, let's go. <laughs> Take 101. Hello guys, hi. Today we are in Virupaksha Temple. Because it's a Sunday today, there is a lot of queue. Bache ayoe hai, historical place visit karne. To humne socha ki hum kuch watermelon hi khale te hai to refresh our souls. So we asked this vendor to give us some watermelon, and uh, I think one watermelon cost around thirty rupees. So it was very cheap, and it will help them also. So yeah, it's watermelon time. So we got our battery car, we are eating in watermelon battery car. It is I think somewhere around one and a half kilometers journey. So that is why this battery car and once I reach I will show you the stone chariot. And we have finally reached. So this is the gate, the entrance to the stone chariot and the Vitala temple. So 
so to enter inside you would need a ticket the ticket costs 40 rupees per head this temple was originally built in the 15th century ad and uh, the place that you can see here is the remains of a famous township called as vitalapura that existed at the time of the reigns of many different kings the highlight of this temple is its impressive pillared halls and the stone chariot also vitala after whom the temple is known is a form of lord vishnu as the epicenter of hampi's attraction vitala temple is the most extravagant architectural showpiece of hampi this is disha taking her photo disha show me how you are taking it So to represent the cultural heritage of the country RBI picked the stone chariot to represent the new 50 rupees currency in India you can see me catching the note and the stone chariot right in front so this is one of the pillared halls and the entrance to it is from here and on the entrance there are two elephants and just look at how these stones are carved and even the little details of this is so amazing like you can see here there is a picture of a goddess i mean the carving of a goddess and the little detailings made everywhere on the walls of the temple are so amazing so the entire hall has so many pillars and each pillar has so many different uh, carvings everything is so unique over here and it's just mesmerizing I'm so happy that I got to see this part of the country too. We were trying to find our friends and finally we found them sitting over here. This place right here is so breezy and you you can just sit here for the entire day. Well after staying here for almost an hour and a half now we are finally leaving because we have to cover all the other places as well this was the first one for the day so the rest is yet to come so outside the temple we got a few vendors who were uh, selling these magnets so there were pretty photographs so as a momentum or you know a memory i wanted to take it home so we were just picking a few and uh, very good ones and this person he got to know that i was was shooting so he asked me about my channel and also did subscribe so thank you thank you thank you so after spending some quality time at the vitala temple now we are at the virupaksha temple but before we explore the virupaksha temple we will be exploring some amazing street shopping here in hampi and alongside we will also be visiting a famous restaurant here which is called the mango tree restaurant you google it and you will know how famous it is here in hampi so street shopping first and then some pet puja and then i will show you around the virupaksha temple famous restaurant here in Hampi it's the mango tree restaurant and uh, we have to keep our slippers outside so I'll keep my slippers here and then let's go in Hampi is a whole different vibe dude like just look at this place i at least don't have it in my hometown like sitting down and chilling and eating wow As this place is right behind the temple they only serve vegetarian food over here but you also get israeli food in vegetarian so it's an amazing place to try it so we were eager to try out this sizzler so we ordered this and then we ordered uh, a mango lassi and then you know the authentic south indian thali which is the famous one here and you should definitely try this Mm -hmm. 
After exploring the amazing street shopping and then filling our stomachs with our lunch, we are here at the Guru Paksha Temple. Virupaksha, as the name suggests, is a form of Lord Shiva and the history of this temple dates back to the 7th century. You will see the monkey. So this is another monkey running from far. What is happening? Oh my god, look at that monkey. He just stole the bananas from the person and he started eating it. <laughs> This is amazing. This is so amazing. <laughs> so there is an elephant over here and people are worshipping it and giving it food. So basically the bananas that the people are bringing inside are for this elephant but the monkeys are definitely getting benefited from it. What is this? Okay. Not sure what they are doing here. If anyone knows, please comment so that even I will know what is exactly happening. <laughs> And look at where this hero is sitting. <laughs> so funny. Taking a closer look, so this is how the temple looks entirely. Isn't it amazing? So after spending a quality time at this temple, now we are moving out to go to some other destination and I'll meet you there. So after coming out from Virupaksha temple, now we are at Ugra Narasimha. It is a Narasimha statue. I will show you just a minute. So this is how it looks. Again sculpted from a stone. And it is indeed very pretty. So this is another sculpture which is very famous in Hampi. And this stone here gives you the details about this monolith so you can view the it. The next place that we, are come, we have come to visit is Underground Shiva Temple. Underground Shiva Temple. Let's see how the underground Shiva Temple looks. But the beauty of this place is that it is very quiet. I assume not many tourists come to visit this place often. Empty. Like from what we, you know, saw the whole day, this is the most peaceful place I've come. Let's get inside. Mm -hmm. Can you hear the sound of the breeze? Wow. That's how peaceful this place is. They've not maintained this, yeah. Because that that's the reason why there are no tourists. You see all water. I think both the sides there is water. Yeah. Algae everywhere and then we have I don't know whether it's the deity, can but I don't think we'll be able to go too much inside. Oh, nice. That's Mandi, right? Hmm. You can see. Let's zoom it. Yeah. There is water here. Because of rain, the water is clogged, so we'll not be able to go inside and show. But this is how this place looks carved out of stones an underground temple in the midst 
of Hampi. And just in case you want to know the history, here it goes. So we are done exploring the underground Shiva temple and now we are at another place. So come and take you inside. So here we are at the famous Lotus Palace. It also has an elephant stable and a queen's bath. So this is the palace in the shape of a lotus. Therefore, it is called as Lotus Mahal or Lotus Palace. This is an elephant stable. Couldn't guess until I read the description. Tell me what I'm saying. I don't know. What I'm saying is that everyone is far away from the side. And there is a place where everyone is like a girl and like a dance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's the girl. Now we are at a temple and I don't know what the temple is called. Trust me. I am tired. tired and i'm so done now temple hopping like hampi has ample of temples and you get tired but the only thing that can lure you to come inside and pay a visit is this just look at this pillar it is carved or it is sculpted and has so many details added to it these are the references to hindu mythology ramayan mahabharat and um, you know this is this is the cultural heritage india has to offer and one must definitely definitely visit hampi if they want to know uh, you know the history of india mm -hmm. <laughs> lotus lotus mall ke wo andar ka hai na wo wala didi ne bola dance ka main bola khana khane ke liye kya kya किसको मुझे भी लगा ये डांसर्स है तू बता तुझे क्या लगा इसको लगा कि डांस हर एक डांसर को एक एक किस में खड़े करेंगे और वो जो बड़ा सा ग्राउंड है ना दैट ग्राउंड इज फॉर पीपल टू सिट मैं भी वही बोली वो एक्चुअल में क्या है बोल इट इज एलिफेंट कीप जहाँ पे एलिफेंट को रखना वी आर गोइंग फ्रॉम योर to explore some other place look at the clouds over there so i i hope it doesn't rain until we are out exploring hampi today and uh, today is my last day here so i have a bus to catch at 9 o'clock today to go back home this is okay acha ja andar जा सकते हैं क्या जा तो तो के साथ में ना ओह नाइस नाइस समथिंग आई थिंक दैट इज द डेड एंड एंड फूल द पीपल या This is whole new world, but when you enter, it was like uh, this is an open space over here. What is there here? तो गुफा से बाहर निकलते हुए ऐसा लग रहा था कि पता नहीं वहां पे सालों बरसों तक कोई लाइट ही नहीं पहुंच पाई है so the gufa looks something like this from the outside and this was used by as a defense mechanism by the royal guards and this is a public bath so and you know people of the kingdom would come here and take a bath 
so this is like a pond pretty we isn't it we are done it? with our uh, temple hopping and now we have come here to food hopping yeah and look at this we have a yum amazing i was saying yummazing yummazing we have a yummazing dosa jambu dosa this is jambu dosa and look at the size <laughs> of this dosa wow and they have given bhaji sambar and chutney with that niri how excited are you to try this dosa <laughs> बोल रहे हैं वेरी एक्साइटेड इट्स नाइस इट्स ऑसम दिशा इज ऑल्सो ट्राइंग दिशा इज इट गुड ओके सो हाउ डू यू रेट इट आउट ऑफ टेन Is it better than Mangalore dosa? Yes, no. Yes. Okay. So, how much do you rate it out of ten? Eight. Eight point five. Eight point five. So here you go, guys. Eight point five for this dosa. So if you are coming to Hampi, please do try it. This hospital. Okay, this is hospital. Twenty three kilometers from uh, Hampi. Chutney is not that good. Chutney is not that good. Sorry, chutney isn't good. Chutney is bad. Ha. Temple hopping was pretty tiring, and it took almost a day for us to complete. It's nine o'clock now, and like I said, it's time to catch the bus. So I'm here at the KSRTC station in Hospital to catch my bus to Mangalore. So my journey has almost ended. I am in the bus um, on the way to Mangalore, and I will reach tomorrow at seven a.m. in the morning. So. Yes, uh, this was my two days humpy uh, diaries. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel. And so it's 7 a.m. finally, and I am in Mangalore, my home. So guys, if you like this video, like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with another adventure. very very soon so thank you